Another book haul, a lot of used books, some from the book depository. I think that's what it's called because I liked the versions of the other books better, um, of the UK version. So book number one I've enjoyed reading is Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. I borrowed this book from my sister-in-law and absolutely adored it. So I got my book myself um, and I will give her back her copy. <laughs> the next one is uh, The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. This came out, I believe, in July. Um, I've already read it. Didn't enjoy it that much, but there you go. <laughs> Beneath the Scarlet Sky. I got this one on vacation by Mark Sullivan. Uh, and I really started to enjoy this book. It is a historical novel about this Italian kid who wants to be a teenager and, you know, war. War happens. So I've heard nothing but good reviews on this. I did pick it up on vacation. And I'm really excited for this one. Because um, I started reading it. I was into it. But it just wasn't the right time. You don't want to read this on a beach in the summer. It just like a cozier cup of tea snuggle up kind of read <laughs> um the next one is it happened one summer by tessa bailey i really enjoyed this book loved it and then i ordered it so yeah really enjoyed this book it is a rom-com about a girl who like is an influencer an instagrammer very into fashion um and then a guy who's a sea captain very kind of rough um, and she gets sent there and she gets to know her biological side of the family better. Um, her biological father, her stepfather raised her because her biological father died when she was young. Um, and it was a really good, cute story. Red is by Vahari McFarlane. I adored her books last year, um, If I've Never Met You. Um, and what was the other one? Don't You Forget About Me. I love her titles. Just Last Night as well. I love this book. I think I gave it five stars in the end. Um, this is her newer book. And I ordered a bunch of these in the book depository because I didn't know she released new books. So copyright 2021. I don't know when this came out exactly, but it did come out this year and I enjoyed it very much. Um, two best friends, one missed chance, and a night that changes everything. <laughs> um, this one I have not read by her, but I picked up this one as well. I don't know when this one was published, but Who's That Girl by Fahari McFarlane. Once again, I loved it. This one is an older one, so it was a 2016. I have read an older one by her before that I didn't enjoy that much, so I hope I really enjoy this one. Um, Aria, can you get me those books over there, how sweet it is, too? I forgot to haul those ones. The next one I heard this is hilarious. I got this at a used bookstore. It's Young Jang Wan. Young. I think I only paid a dollar for it. Um, yes. No, just that one, just the green one. Yeah. Just the green one, yeah. Um, but Gabrielle Zevran, um, I heard it's hilarious. I have a lot of people I know have really, really enjoyed it and liked it. And so, can't wait to read that. I'm so glad I got it at a used bookstore. Um, How Sweet It Is by Dylan Newton, which is cute. <laughs> I don't, I think I got sent this. I think I won this in a giveaway, like a Goodreads giveaway, but how cute is this cover? It's definitely something I read. It is an event planner. Oh, event planner Kate Sweet is famous for creating a perfectly happily ever after moment for our clients' dream weddings. And then Drake Matthews is tired of the spotlight, tired of his reputation as a night of nightmares. He's a really nice guy, but he's not prepared for Kate, the fearless agent of chaos and still toad stilettos. It sounds really cute. It sounds like a cute rom-com, a good summer read. And it is the end of summer here. <clears throat> Are you can you stop doing that? I picked up three of the Maze Runner stories. I never read these all the way through or anything, so I want to read them. I got them at a used bookstore, and they were incredible, like, like incredible shape. Um, and I think they were like 50% off kids' books at the time, and these were in the kids' section. So I think I only paid like $2 each for these. But the Maze Runner by James Dasher. Loved the, uh, loved the, uh, movies the scorched shells by james dasher and the death cure i think i'm missing one of the death ones the fifth one but if i love it i'll find it somewhere and hopefully it matches the next one i picked up i had a barnes and noble gift card and i picked up verity by colleen hoover it was creepy as all get out and i read it in like one night the first night i picked it up i just it was a lot it was a lot it was so creepy um, this one is You, Me on Vacation by Emily Henry. Um, in the U.S., it is called Friends We Meet on Vacation. Absolutely adored it and loved it. I did not pick up this Emily Henry novel before I read it from the library because 
Uh, I don't enjoy your novels that much and I didn't get the hype behind Beach Read and I bought Beach Read because everybody loved it and everybody claimed it was good and I didn't get it. But I absolutely adored and loved this one. So I chose to pick up the book depository one from UK. I thought this was a cuter cover. I liked the pink and the blue and it'll look awesome on my bookshelves. Um, the next one is also, I was looking for this one, Bahari McFarlane, It's Not Me, It's You. Um, let's see what series, what book is this one? Um, this was printed in 2015. So it's one of our older novels. As I said, I haven't read, um, yet. So hopefully I like it, but I loved the cover and it's gorgeous. I got it at the book depository as well when I was shipping the other, I think I shipped three Bahari McFarlane's and then the two books I had actually read and loved. This one I picked up at the used bookstore. The My One and Only, I think I had a copy of this and people loved it or good luck with that is the copy I own of her other series and people absolutely loved it um, by Kristen Higgins, but this is pink and it's beautiful. Um, it's about a divorce attorney, Harper James, that can't take a break. Bad enough that she runs into her ex-husband, Nick, at her sister's destination wedding, but now on a cruel twist of fate, she's being forced to make cross-country road trip with him, and now her fiance back home is not likely to be sympathetic. Harper cannot help that Nick has become blazing back in her life. So this is an old love story. Um, but yeah, hopefully I enjoy it and like it. And then the last one is book number six in Land of Other Stories. Pick this up for my children. Um, by Chris Coffer. This is a children's books I do want to pick up and read. But yeah, we've collected the other ones. Well, I think there's a few that I need to collect. I think I need five and some other ones. But yeah, got this one at the used bookstore as well. And those are all my books from my book haul. And if you like hauls, give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one. See you guys next time. Bye.